morning and uh, welcome to East Allotments. Um, today we're going to show you uh, some clips of um, the, the shed build. Um, we're going to do it in two part series really. Uh, so be because we did it over two days, uh, the shed, um, what we're going to do, we're going to show you the first part where we built it up into a kit form ready to be lifted up and um, the the second video was showing me erecting the the actual shed now um, we had to work around the lads because you don't want a lot of them didn't want to be on the camera but what I want to do before we even start this uh, start the videos I want to thank Alan George Mike Gary um, Peter and Jimmy for giving me a hand to to flip the boards over and for building helping to erect the the shed um, when, when it was all put together in a kit form so they're the the six guys who i want to thank because without them i couldn't he's just couldn't have done it it's just too too awkward to do so what we're going to do we're going to show you a series of clips of um me building the the, the kit form we're going to get it to like the sides the roof, the front, the back. We're going to get it to that stage, and we're going to give it a lick of. Uh, we can, well, we have, we can. So we're, what we're going to do, we're giving it a lick of um, of wood preserver. That won't be the top coat, but we're going to give it a, a lick anyhow. We're only going to do the outside in wood preserver. The inside's going to be white eventually. Um, but like I say, we was, they were doing the video, we are working around the lads, they don't like to be on camera. You get the odd one, might have just appear every now and again. But the um, majority of them, you know, they're they, 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 they shy basically. So we had to work around that. But um, the clips, what I'm going to show you, are going to be a lot of cutting and pasting because there's a lot of effing and jeffing with these lot. So we had to cut bits out. So I'd done the best I could with what material I've had. So we're going to show you now. And. Um, yeah, before we do, before we even start the video, what we need to do, we need to move the the, the peas. So we we in the video. If we start off where we're moving the peas out of the greenhouse into the coal frame, and then we're going to cover them in fleece. Then we can crack on them. So that's where the video. So starts. there's a Colvin wonder. We're just going to cover that with um, some fleece in a minute, and there's all my stud work for my shed. So. Uh, let's crack right, on. What I've got to do now is put the lats in a certain position, equally the gaps. I'll put these screws in here.
what I've got to do now is equal the gaps out. For the swelling she's going to be for. Two five one five. I'm just measuring corner to corner now. Two five one four. I think we can live with a miller. George. Thank you very much for that. Brilliant job. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Well, sorry about all the banging. Uh, that's George that just come over. You can see the gaps in here. Now, them gaps are there for the swelling and the contracting. That wood's bone dry. So when it gets... Um, when it starts to get water on it, it'll swell up and all them gaps will disappear. But before the gaps disappear, what I will be doing is putting some silicon in each joint. So like I say, all this, this, what this is the back, this is all done now. Uh, I'm going to do the roof next. And then I'm going to do the front and then the two sides. So be with you in a moment, guys. I'm just going to clear all this off the top here. And then I'm going to grab my lad. Well, there you go, it's turned over now. So this is the back. We will be putting silicon in there, but we won't be doing it just today. Uh, I'm going to throw the roof on there now. So I won't be long. Be right back, guys. Yeah, you can... Uh, you, since you're there, you can uh, throw you this over with us. Then. Just put a few screws in here to secure it. Oh no, I just got to give it a lick of pain. That's why I'm going down to see what I can get. I want to get some paint in there. You know what I mean? I want to get some white paint. What you need on that shit of yours is some, some felt on the roof. It's uh, The wind's, weather's got to it and it's torn it off. I'm surprised you're still getting water yeah, coming I'm in. I'm going with her this morning. You know, I'm going with her this morning. I might have some left over when I finish with this, so see what I can do for you. I'm, just, I'm not going to need it all. Yeah, well, don't disappear because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say uh, you can help me flip, flip this over in a second. <laughs> well, I 
just realised I've got to put another one down middle. So you might as well go over. I'll give you a shout in a bit when I want to eat it flipping over. Is that all right? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, I'm going to flip it. Um, I've just got to stick a... I'll wait for you doing it. I've got to stick another joist down the centre yet. Oh, alright, I'll wait for you. Yeah. Oh, dear God. So oh, shit. <laughs> I've got to make sure I go this centre of that. <coughs> oh, where are you? <coughs> yeah, just got... Is that the floor? No, this is the roof, this. i just got to make sure uh, I put this joist oh, yeah. to one side. So we've got centre. Eight, uh, eight, so we've got to take another, so it's seven, seven. As long as it doesn't hit it, I'm all right. Seven, ten. Yeah, we go. Push that to there, bring it down to here. Make sure it's the same measurement. This sits inside, the, the this lattice here sits inside the roof, so I've got to make sure to get that one right. Otherwise, when I come to put the roof in, put the roof in, this part's going to hit the, the side. The last thing we need it to do. Right, put the screw there. I just square this end up here. Being with me today, Sue. Who's Sue? She is. Alright. So yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a, I'm going to get a, have a look at the, the net strip and all, and I'll just the wire that you put. Yeah. Well, again, you're wasting your money, aren't you? So I might have some inside there, so. I want to get that, this year I want to get that fence cut for doing part of that to go, I've got it for. Yeah. Because we've been going out in the day. Again, I might have some um, some chicken wire there for you. I'll just right, the chicken wire I'm on about. Yeah, I've, I think I've got some in the shed there, so just you know, hang your horses and we we'll dig it out for you. There's some chicken wire over there on the on the gift table. Oh, there was. Uh, so that's yeah, it misses it. I'll put these screws in there. Where are you going to put that? Well, there's the thing. I'm going to have to stand it up somewhere. Now then, I'm probably going to stick it. It's, uh, we just bring it up that way. Which way is that way? I'm going to flip it right over. Well, now I can put the front on now, build the front. Will you be alright now? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks a lot. If you want any lift tomorrow, I'll give you a lift tomorrow. Cheers, mate. Alright. Yeah, i just got to do the front and the two sides and it's done this. Woo! Right. See you in a bit, Jim, thanks for the lift. Yeah, he just helped me flip that over. Nice lad, old Jim. So we've got the roof and we've got the back. So now we need to build the the sides now. So we're going to get the sides all put together. Actually, we're going to do the front now. I just realised it's the front next. Get the front on it. And... Um, yeah. All right, Jim. Uh, Jim asking me about um, he wants me to drill some holes in some buckets for him for his potatoes. Not a problem. Yeah, he's just giving me a lift to flip this over. So you know, <laughs> what comes around goes around. Right, we're going to have to start building the um, the front of this thing now. That's the roof. That's how how big the roof is. 
we've already got the back underneath done although there's a few gaps in the the, the back but that's that's uh that's the way it should be i need to uh, to put sealer in there there's a reason for the gaps is the c expansion and contraction if you don't leave a gap what happens is it pops the um the wood out so you don't want to do it tight that's, that's a no-no anyhow let's crack on we're going to start the roof off now um the the front of the front of the shed and that involves the door making as well mm, that's going to be fun okay we're making the the front now where the door is so yeah this is where it gets a bit complicated i've got to make that door fit you see in the frame which ain't going to be an easy thing to do um, because some of the wood's like swelled a bit and some hasn't but um we're just going to put a few screws in here now just to hold everything together just going to put this light over the door so it has something to it to so we're just going to overlap it a touch well, that's the idea anyway what we're doing is the door um, this is the top part's the door frame we've got the top part there so we're just uh, we're putting these overlapping so the door will hit against it that's the idea anyhow some gaps for the expansion and construction. Believe it or not, we're still on the same ballot battery after doing all these uh, all these screws. Pretty chuffed with it actually. Oh dear, brought me a bit. Luckily, I have plenty of spare bits here. But uh, when you're starting a job, always make sure you've got more bits than you're going to need because you'll find you'll break one or two. Now, we've got a few more screws to stick in here. Um, Alan will be back over in a minute. He's just going to give me a lift to flip the old thing over. Oh, we got lucky. I had a couple of scraps here and I was hoping that they're going to sit in there. One at the top, one at the bottom. The door can actually uh, hit against it and it also seals the door from the, the, the water from it, you know, getting inside the, the shed. So I'm just going to cut these down to size. 
and then we'll fit them. So give me a couple of minutes guys, I'm just going to get the saw out, get a jigsaw somewhere, and we just fly through these. Won't be a set. Okay, what we're doing here, we're uh, actually putting a lip on the top, or oh, this is the bottom actually. It don't really matter which way it is because uh, this is the front, it can be the top or the bottom, this piece, but we've got to put one up the other end up there, yeah. And then we create a, a frame for the door to sit in. That's the idea. So, all we've got to do is basically uh, make the frame now, a couple of screws in here just to hold the thing in place and um, yeah the jobs are good and you probably notice I've got another camera over there pointing down here but uh, yeah all this uh, stud works uh, on here now is nearly complete like I said we've just got another piece to cut with the jigsaw there and uh, then we could turn it over I'm just waiting for my mate Alan and there's another lad over there what can give me a, a, a lift as well. Um, Jim, so you know, got plenty of people here to give me a lift. And uh, it won't be long before the, the sides will be built as well. So anyhow, we're gonna crack on, we'll put a few screws in here. Be right back guys. Now what we're doing here, we're doing the the joist for the, the door to hold the door from, um, basically from dropping. So we're going to build the door while it's still in the frame. Obviously we might have to sand the, the edges down a bit or do a bit of trimming and what have you. But um, I want to do that now while it's still in the frame. Makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to screw these in in a second. Make sure they're all square. And um, yeah, uh, we're not far away now from building the, the, the front of the, the shed. Well, there you go, don't matter which way you look at it, it can be the top or the bottom this, exactly the same, it's a mirror image from the top and the bottom, what I need to do now is flip it over, uh, put the hinges on it, but before we do that I think we're going to build the sides, so I need, uh, need to find my mate Alan, he's around here somewhere, he's just told me to give him a shout. Well guys, I'm sorry, but uh, we've had to change over to this camera because I've run out of uh, film or run out of power in the other one. But we've not got much to do, we've just got a couple more holes to do and to cut these battens down. So this is what we're going to do. So, put a few screws in here.
There we go. That's it, guys. They've all been done, all been cut. All I've got to do, give them some uh, wood uh, preserve and wood stain. And uh, like I say, we'll put them together. I'm not going to paint the inside because I'm going to paint that white, I think. Make it easier to see inside. But uh, yeah, we've got everything cut. It's all been put, screwed together. So all we need now is to put the sides on and uh, stand the sides up. Put the back on, front on, and uh, should be plain sailing after that. But um, yeah, it's been emotional. It took us best part of three hours to to put them together. Okay, we've got a few gaps, but that's designed for that way because the wood's bone dry. When the wood swells up in a bit, all them gaps are closed. That's the way it works. But we've got to put we put sealer in there as well. We could have just used tongue and groove, but I haven't got the machines to do the job here, so I've had to come up with this idea. It's worked perfectly well for the other shed, so uh, yeah, it's just like I say, it's it's doing the the best with what you what you got basically, and that's what I've done here. Like I said, there the lats. That's what hold the, the the sides together. So all we've got to do now is give it a lick of paint, the old thing. So I'm gonna put everything away, get the old paintbrush out, and uh, get me mates to help me flip it over like they've been doing this morning. So uh, yeah, we've uh, almost there. Well, there you go. There's the sides, the roof, the back, the bottom, all painted. Uh, could do with the sealer putting them in the joint so I don't know I don't want to do it now I prefer to do it when it's upright doing that I need it to settle first but um, them gaps there are there for a reason for expansion and contraction and um, the the wood itself is too dry actually I've let it dry too much because it's been in the in the greenhouse here for such a long time What's happened? It's dried right out. So as soon as I pull it out and the rain gets on it, the the wood will swell. And I can tell you now, them gaps there about four milli. They will soon the wood the planks will swell out until it's basically airtight. So what I normally do is when it's completely dry in the summer, that's when I put the um, I put the sealer in but I might put the sealer in before that because the wood is absolutely bone dry but tomorrow what we'll do this we'll stand it up that side the other one we'll stamp turn it over and uh, actually I've got it on the wrong bloody way around there or have I? no I haven't that's right it's the right way so that just this just goes up here against the greenhouse the other one will go this way the front will go that way, the, the roof will drag right out here, the side, the, the back is on the bottom, we'll stand that up, probably need about three of my mates to do this, get the screwy guns ready and we'll have it done in the next to no time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cover this over and um, leave it for today, I think we've done enough. Uh, the time now is just gone two o'clock. I've been at this since nine o'clock this morning, so five. It's took me five hours to do all this. To do the, it's just now it's like in a kit form. It should take no more than thirty minutes to put up, and uh, well, thirty minutes to erect. It'd probably take about another hour to put the roof on. And, uh, and probably another hour to put the trim around the um, the edges to to so it looks like this one here. Show you. See the trim all the way around. That's how it's going to look. 
we use nails there and um, that's the only thing that we use where we use nails but um, I'm probably going to use screws as well because uh, well these nails are a special nail they've got the once they go in they're not supposed to come out um, but yeah we're going to do that and that's what it's going to look like well the, the putting that plastic um, cover over the the shed there couldn't have come at a better time it's just starting to spit now a bit of rain it did say it was going to rain at the end of the day and we've got really fortunate we've managed to build the both sides the front the back and the roof so it's all there uh, ready to go um, I'm not leaving I'm not doing it now because that would mean I'd have to put the felt on it today and uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen but we've got it covered underneath this blue tarpaulin and uh, Tomorrow's another day we might may have it on its plinth. Fingers crossed guys. So there you go guys. Uh, it's the the first stage of the uh, project is all um, screwed together. Uh, there's not a nail in sight there, it's all screws, what hold that thing, all, all the, the sides together. Screws work a hell of a lot better than um, the nails. Um, every single screw what we used in in that the build there was 70 milli screws um, when we come to doing the door we use 40 uh, 40 milli screws I wasn't all oh, something I'm lying it was it was uh, 60 milli screws so there with all the screws we use and we use all the drills like I say all the holes was pre-drilled as you saw there it was, um, but yep uh, that's that's it now we've got the wood stain on it and uh, it's, it was looking really good at that point, but that was uh, that 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 was Saturday. We saw it. Was it Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday. We we started that on Saturday. Um, like I say, you've probably only seen. I'm going to see about half an hour of uh, video here, but I assure you, there was a, we spent some time. It was most of the stuff. What we we did on the um, on the cutting floor, we cut loads out. <laughs> I mean, you don't hear my uh, the lads Effin and Jeffy and all of that. So we we lost a lot of good stuff there, but uh, we at least we got the job um, to the stage where it was a flat pack. So in part two, um, we're going to be erecting it, putting the roof on, giving it its uh, second coat, and putting all the trimmings on and what have you. So uh, yeah, hopefully that will come up straight. Well, not straight after this video, but probably the next day. Cause it, it takes time to upload these videos because they're mostly done in HD. Now I've got to also say, we used in the making of the the, the actual video, we used um, three different cameras. We used um, this Panasonic here. We have, we have got another Panasonic um, Andy Cam. You, you see me using it to do the close up work on the door. And we also, when we've run out of batteries for them, we we reverted to the iPhone 6. So there might be a discrepancy in you know, a little bit of the, the footage. That's because we use three different cameras. But it was all done in, uh, it, was, it was all um, uploaded in 180. So, what is it, 1800 HD. So, you know, um, it should be pretty good pictures anyhow right so what we're going to do we're, we're going to post this one up and then the other one should follow soon after or very soon after okay guys thanks for watching part two is up next so goodbye from whistle for for now